welcome to today's vlog. It's actually just coming up to the afternoon time and we're just about to leave the home, home, the place that we stayed for last night and go hunting for the Loch Ness Monster in Inverness. How far are we from Inverness? I have no idea. We've got yes. no idea. I don't think we're too far not from Inverness. Not, far. not, not far. too far from Inverness. Unfortunately, we were all hoping that we'd maybe be able to get showers this morning in the place that we stayed at last night because they usually offer showers for £1.50 but they're not open today they said so probably a good thing to be honest with um, with everything that's going on and instead we opted for ice cold showers in the caravan I won't lie I don't actually get in the shower I just wash myself like stood up out of the shower and then put my head over the shower to wash my hair and that's how the girls got ready as well this morning but it's so cold it gives you brain freeze I don't know why we can't work out how to get heating working in the car the heating water heating working in this van but we can't seem to do it so I'm hoping how long have we got left on this trip a few days Maybe one more cold shower. I can't wait to get home and sink into a scalding hot bath. That would be so nice. But we're going to make the most of these last couple of days. And I'm really pleased to say also that the sun is shining so brightly right now. So we were just making the 40 or so minutes to Loch Ness. Guess what we found? We found... <laughs> Girls, what did we get? Jace, Jace is asleep by the way, hence why we're not being too loud. Um, I want to go for something different because I always go for a caramel frappuccino and I went for this, which is strawberries and cream. And then the girls went for caramel frappuccinos with no coffee. So it's kind of like ice cream and milky. Tastes good, girls? Yeah. So just 20 minutes on from Starbucks, we've just arrived at Loch Ness. In fact, we're halfway down Loch Ness, just past the visitor centre at, I forgot the name of the castle. <laughs> it's, it's a hard one to pronounce, so I'm going to just pop it on the screen right now, and there you go. That's easy done. Finito. The castle's not open today, but apparently, wow, oh my god, I've just seen it. Wow. Um, sorry, the visitor centre is not open today, but you can still see the castle, which is down here. And apparently there's like a, possibly a picnic area, says the lady working at the main Loch Ness Visitor Centre, which is what we're looking for. If there is so it, that's going to be annoying because we've just like literally packed everything in this bag, so. We've got bear picnic, so hopefully bear. we're going to find a nice picnic place for it to be had. What a view! Oh my goodness! Whoa. Boom! Again, wrong lens on for this, but Whoa. I'll show you that better when we get closer. I've got a feeling those steps oh. might be a new. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. They new. <laughs> those yeah, in the back definitely. there, though. Yeah. They look like they might be the originals. Yeah. Does yeah. anybody know what this part of the it castle is? The chapel. The chapel. The chapel. There was a private chapel. Interesting. Look at this gate. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Jace is getting in. Oh Jace, come out of the castle. Jace. <laughs> you trying to squeeze this. To squeeze so I'm going now. Is that, I mean? <laughs> oh my gosh. So we just sat down for a picnic on Loch Ness and it's so beautiful here. We just explored the castle. Jeez, are you being a little monkey? Just at the side of Loch Ness, right there, and at the side of the castle. I'm not gonna try and pronounce it, but it's so cool. This castle dates back to the 1300s when it was first built until it was destroyed. Most castles do here, don't they? By an explosion in 1692 which is pretty sad, that's why it looks like it does now. It was a royal castle in the medieval times. What else can we tell you? Um, they're probably not interested. But yeah, it's really nice, we're having a nice little picnic on, right next to Loch Ness, and we're uh, gonna get some nice, hopefully some nice, a couple of nice drone shots of the monster. No, the castle, in a minute.
<laughs> so we just got back to the car and we've driven up the road to upload the vlog it was a little bit late so i apologize for anybody that was there at 5 p.m waiting for the vlog to go live i need to wipe my eyes because i'm not joking i've got quite long eyelashes but every single time i vlog lately and i notice it all the time on holidays because i don't usually watch our vlogs other than when we're on holiday because i really enjoy watching the holiday ones Every time I look back on the vlog, I'm like, oh my gosh, literally every vlog, I've got mascara up here. Because I don't know if you guys can see, but when I'm like moving my eyes like this, oh my, my eyelashes, eyelashes reach the that. top of my eye my and it brows. makes it black and it's so annoying. So every time I film now, I'm like really conscious that I'm <laughs> wiping my eyes. Anyway, we've come back to the car, gone down the road, uploaded the vlog, and now we're just trying to decide what we're doing. I can't believe I'm about to say this, babe. Mm -hmm. We've officially finished the NC500. I know, man. <laughs> we looked forward to this for so long, and it's finished. We're in Inverness right now, which is where you start the NC500 or you finish it. You can go all the way back across the country. I think that's officially the 500, that's officially on, miles, the 500 yeah. on miles, I think, going all the way back. But we're not going to do that because we are going to spend a few days in Edinburgh. I absolutely loved it there when we went in December, and I want to go back. There's a few things that we didn't get to do, and I really want to go back and do those. So there's a um, a lighthouse in the ocean that Chris wants to go and see but it's quite a drive away and it is a massive detour so we're just trying to decide now are we going to the lighthouse tonight or are we going to Edinburgh oh my goodness you guys the scenery around here is insane the camera does absolutely no justice at all it's stunning. Alright guys, so we've just pulled off the road, we've been driving for about two hours now from Inverness and we're about an hour away from Edinburgh. We decided to go to Edinburgh. Our two choices for the night were Rat Ray Head Lighthouse, which is a beautiful lighthouse. Two and a half to two, an hour, two hours and three quarters east from Inverness, um, which is a lighthouse that is basically in the sea. It's really, really cool. I've seen it on a few videos and I really wanted to go visit it and take some video of it because it just looks amazing. But we decided that the drive out there probably would be about three hours in this and then it's another three and a half hours ish down to Edinburgh from there. It would have ended up being really late when we got to this lighthouse. Probably would have made sunset but then we would have had to camp there and then travel to Edinburgh tomorrow which probably would have then taken over most of tomorrow. When tomorrow we've actually we want to have plans in Edinburgh. We want to do something in Edinburgh tomorrow rather than traveling. So we decided to scrap the idea of going to the lighthouse today just in favor of the girls and Jace not sitting in the car for hours and hours on end which would purely have been just to go and get a good video shot, which, and just, I mean, to see it as well, but you know, I just really wanted the video shot, so it's not really worth it. So we decided instead, we're going to Edinburgh, which is really, really good, but we've been driving and it's starting to get into evening time and we don't want to arrive in Edinburgh and then find somewhere to park and it'd be late and then do dinner, etc., and have a rushed evening. We wanted to stop and enjoy the evening, especially because it's so freaking beautiful tonight. And if you can see that sunset, but it is gorgeous behind me right now. It's a little bit of cloud, but the sun is out. Is definitely there so we decided to pull off the motorway and we pulled off at just the right point into this absolutely stunning little rural area where there's just literally no one around and it's just rural and mountain and river just over there i'm gonna get my drone out and show you in a bit i cannot believe this is potentially our last night camping like rural tomorrow will be in edinburgh yeah 
that makes me really sad. I've literally, I can't even explain to you guys how much I've loved just stopping. At least it's a good place to last. <laughs> it's so, look, we've got the camping chairs out. We're gonna have a campfire toast and no. toast some marshmallows. I've never seen this chair before. <laughs> Toast some marshmallows, we've got the sun shining up there. It doesn't look great on camera, but it's so nice and warm. As well, we've been blessed with lovely weather the last few days and it's made a massive, massive difference. So we're gonna have a barbecue. We've got some delicious looking food. We've decided we're not going vegetarian or anything like that, but we have decided as a family that we do want to eat less meat. So we've got some vegan burgers, some vegan sausages, some cheesy type things and Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. It looks so good. It looks so good. Yeah. 